Day four of eating in Osaka started off very North American. However, we went right back to the Asian food. Immediately after breakfast, we went to Izakaya Toyo to see the Netflix man himself and also to try the very famous tuna cheeks. He was honestly so entertaining and the blowtorch is a lot bigger than you think. You can honestly feel the heat from wherever you are filming from. And honestly, the tuna cheeks were so good. Everything else on the menu I would say is a little bit more mid, but the tuna cheeks definitely have a lot of flavor to them and they are definitely worth the wait. We then had the steamed buns and gyoza from 551 Hore along with some desserts. I really don't know where this is from, but they were pretty good. They were like croissant-like pastries. And then for dinner, we had okonomiyaki, and this place is definitely not traditional, but they do have vegan options, so if you have some dietary restrictions, here is definitely a place to go, and this is a one-woman show. She cooks everything by herself, and her English is honestly really good, so I would highly recommend coming here, especially if you have those dietary restrictions. We got a yakisoba and a okonomiyaki, and everything was really, really good, and that was it for 